Welcome to Understand. This is Jordan over at Scientific Toolworks. So you just downloaded Understand, now what? Well, the first thing you may want to do is get a new project set up so you can start playing with it. There are a few different ways to generate a project in Understand with the help of the new project wizard. And today we'll look at the simplest two, pointing Understand at the root directory of your source code and creating a project from your remote Git repository. To start, in the top level menu, we can select File, New Project, or we can press the icon here or the new button here. This will pull up the new project wizard. Here we have two options. The first is to select the root directory or directories where the source code for a single executable resides. Note that if your source has multiple targets, you may need to create a separate understand project for each. The second option is to clone a remote Git repository into a local directory on our machine and simultaneously create an understand project from it. Note that if your Git repo is already on your local machine, you can use the first option here. Let's clone a Git repository that I'm interested in working on with Understand. I'm going to start by copying the URL of a popular open source data analysis toolkit for Python called Pandas and placing that in the first text box. Next, I'm going to select an empty directory to clone into. I've already created one called pandas in my user directory, but here we can create a new folder if we don't have one already. Now we just press clone and we wait for that to finish cloning. Once our remote Git project is finished being cloned, we have several Git related options to choose from before moving forward. We can freeze the project at a specific point in time by providing a commit hash. Normally, as we pull from the remote repository, our understand project will automatically update with any new commits made. With this option, we can tell Understand to ignore any new changes made past a certain commit, essentially generating a more static project. The other option we have to choose from is to use an older commit to create a second project for historical comparison. When a commit hash is provided in this text box, a new Understand project frozen at that commit is created, and the compare tool can then be used to analyze changes between two versions in great detail. For more on the compare tool, there will be a link to a video down below. I'm going to leave these options alone for now and press next, where we'll find more import options. Here for our GCC G++ users, we're given details on how to use builds by wrappers to import project information and improve project accuracy. These will be covered in another video. So let's press next again. Here in this section, understand will automatically show you the languages it's detected in your project. Notice I can deselect any languages I don't want to be imported into the project at this time but I can always add or remove them again in my project configuration once my project is set up. There will be a guide for this in the description below. But here in the wizard on our right hand side, you can also see the version of each language or compiler that Understand will use. So for instance, the C++ code in this project will use the Clang compiler by default, but that can be changed here. Now we have to select where we want our un directory. So let's press next. By default, your un file is saved right in the root directory that you provided, so I'm going to leave mine there. Here at this section of the new project wizard, you also have the options to configure advanced settings after your project is created, and another option to enforce portability. When the portability option is selected, it means the source files are limited to being in the same directory or below the .und project file. If the source files are outside of this directory, you may need to move the un file to a more root location. I'm going to leave these options unchecked and press Create Project. From here, once the project is finished analyzing, I'm taken to this Project Overview page where I can see a visual representation of my project and I'm free to start exploring my code. This was a short video on how to create a new project and understand. In this video, we covered how to start a project by pointing at a source root directory or a remote Git repo. For more information on understand, visit support.scitools.com.